Wendy lives and breathes technology. She works for the IT giant Cisco, but her internet connection at home in Finch Hampstead is holding her back. I literally cannot do anything useful without having to go to the office. I can't do phone calls at the same time as web conferencing. I can't do video conferencing at the same time as WebEx. I can't send emails at the same time as a phone call. I can literally do one thing at a time and that just feels very annoying and not very productive to me. The Berkshire suburb is typical of many. Home working is popular. A recent survey found as many as 60% of residents need to get online for work. Their fight for a decent broadband speed began a decade ago. Within this small district, there are now huge variations. While some struggle with less than a megabit, others now have speeds of up to 40 a second. BT began work to bring super-fast broadband through fibre to nearby cabinets this time last year. Local people say they were told it would be complete by the summer. The work is still ongoing to the frustration of many who live here. I would like to ask BT how it is that the Olympics partner who delivered that superb communications for the Olympics can fail to wire up 4,000 houses in six months. In a statement, BT says... Of the cabinets serving this community, 10 are now live and capacity has now been increased to cater for growing demand. While engineering and technical issues can affect the dates when cabinets are switched on, work in the Finch Hampstead area is nearing completion. There's plenty of evidence that the rollout is ongoing, either home installation or at roadside cabinets. Like elsewhere across the south, until superfast broadband is available for all, the complaints will keep coming. Alistair Fee, BBC South Today.